All right, we're at Farm Progress Showdown in Decatur, Illinois, and joined by Mark Howell, Global Product Manager for Alternative Fuels with New Holland, and an exciting launch here, Mark, when it comes to the tractor behind you and where New Holland is headed when it comes to using alternative energy sources in, in tractors. Can you fill us in on what this machine is behind you? Okay, so this, this tractor is 100% methane powered. There's a six cylinder NEF engine in here. It's running uh, just over 100 PTO horsepower. So as a chore tractor, it's absolutely um, perfect for the US market. It's exactly what we would be selling um, in a diesel um, um, range of our tractors. This is the T6 that we sell. Um, when it comes to um, highway mowing, when it comes to um, snow clearing, this is exactly the chassis we'd be selling for diesel. And again, the methane makes a huge um, impact on the business. We have regards to reduce CO2, reduce particulates, um, quietness. It's um, 3 dBA, so half as quiet in drive-by noise. And obviously it's good for the environment. So 99% particulate reduction and um, up to 10% CO2 reduction, while also being cheaper to run because there's no death. There's, um, uh, and we get the power and torque of a normal diesel as well. It's fantastic. And the idea is also that you could use biomethane from on-farm sources? So, yeah, we can use, in the first instance, we can use um, grid methane. And then we want to push the idea that we can use biomethane, so using manure and waste um, feedstock to um, produce your own fuel and get off the grid. And there you reduce the variability of fuel prices. You can control your own. There are other tractors on the floor here that run on propane and hydrogen. Where do you see this all going when it comes to the energy source for our for our horsepower? So, so hydrogen has been around for a while. Our concept's been around for a while, but it, because it uses fuel cells, it's a future project. It's, it's we know we can make it work. We can get it to drive, um, but the technology isn't there financially for us to bring it a, a, a competitive price to that of a diesel. The propane tractor is very interesting. Very interesting for the North American market that we have this engine in CNG. So the methane engine is a spark ignition engine and that then allows us to use it for propane. Now in the North American market, that's particularly interesting because for heating your homes, for heating the sheds, for drying the grain, you already have propane on site. So we've developed this, but as a side project and really driven by the North American market, we have propane as kind of an infill product while the infrastructure for methane grows off the back of that of a propane. So this morning at the launch, there was a lot of talk about energy independence or, or that kind of concept, self-sustaining or self-making your own energy on, on the farm, closing that cycle when it comes to carbon emissions and that sort of thing. That is, that is maybe possible with a methane power? Absol no, it's absolutely possible. So if, you, if you've got a big dairy herd, for instance, and you can utilize the value of the manure by putting it into a biodigester, releasing the methane out without um, ruining the nitrogen and the properties of the um, manure that you've put in, you can get the gas out, clean the gas, and then you can use that for powering your home, heating your home, and then fueling your vehicles, whether that be a tractor or trucks. So for moving milk around, you can the trucks you can get, which are methane powered. So the whole farm then centers around the gas that you're producing on farm. And that's where the energy independence is from. And because you're using waste products, your carbon impact is virtually zero. And it's, it's fantastic. So what's the timeline then for bringing this forward? This is a concept machine here. What do you see in terms of production models? So the emissions on this are, the, are better than what we are putting out today. So this tractor is good for the European stage five, which comes in 2019, 2020. So we've got a three years to get this to market. That's our target, that's what we're going for. Okay, so there's a three year time frame. Yep. what you're aiming for. That's right. What do you see as differences for adoption then in Europe versus North America when it comes to possibilities here? Europe will major mainly on the methane to start and NAFTA will be more into the propane, but it's all to do with infrastructure and what's available. So the main development is on the methane because that's the expertise that we have in-house. So Fiat Powertrain have got uh, 22,000 or more trucks running on CNG. So that's our knowledge. But because we have the spark ignition engine, we can then do the propane. So for the future, we see um, us able to impact um, other markets that we, you know, other customers 
that may have looked at New Holland with interest, but a diesel tractor, they, they needed something more to shake the hand, to make that deal. And being able to fuel a tractor with on-farm fuel, whether it be propane or methane, that's where we're gonna move forwards. That's why we're pushing this to um, bring us closer to the market, doing things that the North American customer wants. So a six cylinder engine, 100 PTO horsepower, um, reducing the need for death. It's all the stuff that, when I've been talking to customers, is all the stuff that they wanna hear um, and they wanna talk about when they come to buy a tractor. How much of a difference is there between the propane and the methane models? Is it possible to, they have some similarities, but how, how close are they related? Okay, so the methane is stored as a gas. Mm -hmm. And, it, and unless you go to liquid methane at minus 163, I think it is, it's, it's uh, cryogenic then. So we're running this on just um, 200, 200 bar methane, so it's always a gas. So the pressure itself feeds the cylinders. The propane is stored as a liquid, so at um, six bar, it turns into a liquid, and therefore in the tanks we can hold more fuel, but then we have to lift, pump it to an evaporator, and then we get the gas into the cylinder. Um, the methane can be pushed a bit harder with regard to horsepower, so we can get more horsepower out of the methane. But again, that's 100 PTO horsepower. It doesn't need to be any better than that. We will go better, but that's the core horsepower, that's the core chore tractor um, category that we want to um, bring to market. Finally then, Mark, why methane, or why go with this route as an, as an energy source versus other potential options for meeting the emissions expectations? It's all to do with um, the emissions and the cleanliness and being responsible for the environment. So there's a 99% reduction in uh, particulate matter. We've got the spark ignition, so we can, we can change the injection timing the injection pressures, we can do a lot, but now we've got the um, spark ignition, we can also change the spark, which you can't do on a diesel. So the particulates coming out here, any of the black smoke, this, this won't just won't do it. Then you've got the CO2 and the NOx and other nitrogen oxides, this is way down. So overall it's 80% less than diesel. So with those numbers it's clear, the fact that you can produce fuel on the farm or pull it from the grid, because even pulling the fossil fuel from the grid is still better than diesel. And that's where the propane comes in again. It's a fossil fuel in the most part, although there are people doing biopropane in Europe, but in the most part, that's a fossil fuel, but the burning of it is better than diesel. And a lot of propane is wasted, it's flared. So you'll see when they're um, making diesel or making fuel, they'll be flaring. So let's not flare it, let's not burn it for no reason. Let's put it in a tractor and make it work. Do you see other manufacturers following this road too? I expect them to follow because we think we're on a really good um, concept here. When uh, they haven't got the, the, the advantage we have is we've got FPT. We have a truck company who are supplying us with engines in the same family as our tractor. Now they're not the same engine because we haven't specifically designed, tested for the tractor, but we have um, vast, vast experience within FPT of CNG engines. So. We are quick to the market with the technology. We've got the technology in the in-house, so for other companies to come and do the same, they will probably have to do more research to understand what's going on. All right. Cool, thanks for your time, Mark, and enjoy the rest of your time here. No, thanks for coming to see me, and I'm really pleased that you took time to look at the machine.